I think it is safe to say that the president really wants to lose this election. Uh, I'll tell you why. And I'm pretty sure on Twitter land, you've already heard the news. Uh, president Trump, it was about two days ago, uh, was on Twitter. Um, and um, he was high off of the freaking steroid dexomethasone. And when you have that kind of steroid, steroids make you kind of high a little bit. And they cause anger. And um, it causes you to kind of give people your wrath and freak out and bust out. Because it causes anger issues. That's anger issues. That's one of the effects. Well, guess what? The president tweeted, oh, well, uh, Nancy Pelosi. I was supposed to say President Pelosi. Ew. President Nancy Pelosi. Ew. No. Uh-uh. Gross. Um, don't ever. Please, dear God. Uh, Nancy Pelosi wants to give $2.4 trillion to high-crime, Democratic-run cities. Basically saying, uh, I don't want to do that. I offered $1.6 trillion, but she won't negotiate with me. Um, yeah, so by the way, I'm stopping on negotiations. No more stimulus talks. No more stimulus talks. And then he says, oh, well, well before I go to that. Whoever's advising the president, I'm not sure if, if, if he's just acting on a whim, which is possible, but who's, whoever's acting or, or advising the president or acting as his advisors, you need to be fired because you're causing this man to lose, okay? Could it be that his advisors want him to lose? Sure. Could it be that Trump wants to lose? Possibly. He's like, man, if I could just get out of here and then just go golfing all the time, like, I'm down. But this... This is a monumentally stupid decision. Notice what he's saying here. He's saying, and by the way, in his tweets, he was saying, you know, after I win, we will look at this again. Hey, vote for me and maybe I'll offer you something after I win. But I'm not going to give you anything to vote for me. Hey, vote for me, even though I'm not going to give you anything. But if you vote for me, I'll give it to you after the election. How stupid can you be? I mean, how stupid? That is not how you get votes. 2016, Trump would have ripped you apart. He would have said, fuck it, give him $3 trillion, put my face on it, I want my picture and my signature all over those checks. What's this guy doing? He's saying, I don't want to give you any money. F you. That's what he's saying. See me after the election. Right? That's what's going on. What's happening is, I don't know if he's being advised, but let's just put it this way. He is saying, I'm not going to give you any kind of money until you vote for me. Oh, and by the way, those Democratic cities are California, New York. New York has the fifth, or I'm sorry, California has the fifth. Largest economy in the world just by itself. In the world. You got Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. And you got the military industrial complex. All right in California too. You got over 50 million people living in California. Although a lot of them are moving because of high costs and interest rates and all kinds of things over there. You got that many people in California. That large ass economy. And what you're saying is, I don't care about the people. That's what he's saying. I don't care about you, the people, because you live in a democratic run city and state. So I don't want to give you $1,200. I don't want to give you $2,000. And then he's going on saying, oh, our economy is doing good. Our stock market's doing well. Unemployment is, is down. And I'm trying to get Mitch McConnell to to push my uh, outstanding Supreme Court nominee, Amy Coney Barrett. Who the hell is he talking to? It ain't you. It ain't me. He's not talking to any of us. What the hell? If you are someone that's losing your house, you lost your job, you lost your health care, your kids are now having to learn at school, and you're a single mom who now doesn't have her two jobs that she was trying to put food on the table with. You can't afford a computer, you can't afford to get any credit cards, 
So possibly buy your kids computers because your credit's scoring high enough because you don't make enough because our wages are too low. And now the pandemic's happening. You don't care about the stock market. That's not something you care about. You care about who the hell is going to give me money so I can survive and my kids can survive. That's what people are caring about. So with him denying all this money, he's saying, F you. I don't want to help you. I don't care about your problems. That's what Donald Trump is saying. And any Trump supporter who still supports him, you're still a chump. You're an idiot. Because he's saying it to you too. That's what he's saying. He's saying, look, I, I know... There are Trump supporters in my in, in the Democratic in the Democratic states, but I don't care about them either. I care about my rich friends. <laughs> That's what he's saying in, in all all of those tweets. That's what he's saying. Now, by the way, this means no twelve hundred dollar payments to you or two thousand dollar payments to you. This means no funding for testing, no funding for contract tracing, no funding for hospitals, no funding for PPE for defibrillators. No funding to reopen schools, no funding for vaccines, no funding for medications and medicines to be created for the virus, no funding for masks, nothing, no funding for Medicaid, no funding for Medicare, no funding for the health care of 100 million people with pre-existing conditions, nothing. That's what he's saying. This is Trump really wanting to lose the election. I wouldn't be surprised. He's been a loser before. 38 failed businesses. Six bankruptcies. How, I mean, how how can anybody think, you know, that guy's a good businessman. He really knows what he's doing. What the hell? Wow. Wow. That That is just incredible. And then he, so now, okay, he backed out going, oh my God. Right? Because here, here's what happened. Hours after, in, in fact, minutes, the Dow Jones Industrial Average had dropped, and that, that is a part of the stock market, it had dropped over 400 points. I think it was five or 600 points that it had dropped within minutes. And then I bet you the Republicans in the Senate were like, you idiot. We're, it's not only you that might lose, you dumbass. It's us. What are you doing, you idiot? Get your ass back to the table with Pelosi and start negotiating fucking stimulus talks, you dumbass. And you know why they're doing that? Because their donors all own stock in the stock market or are in the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, and they're like, what the hell is going on? What's the president doing? So only because the stock market was suffering. It wasn't that, you know, hundreds of millions of people were sending him letters to the White House within minutes going, oh, Mr. President, what the hell are you doing? I need, I need to pay rent. I'm, fin I'm spending my last dime on sending this letter to you, you jackass. Now help me. No, it wasn't you. Okay. And to my dad and, 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 and my aunt and everybody else who supports Trump. I love how you will endorse a guy and vote for a guy who will give you absolutely nothing. Nothing. In the light of a pandemic. In the light of a pandemic. He won't even help you. This is political suicide what he did. Saying I don't want to help you. Weeks before an election. When this is in the memory of the American people. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, he he says, oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to help you. Hey, Nancy Pelosi, uh, 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 Mark Meadows, Steve Mnuchin, everybody, please. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, come back. Come back to the table, please. I really want to talk to you. I'm so sorry, Nancy Pelosi. Please, 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 Pelosi. Please, Pelosi, please, please come back to the table. I really want to help the American people. No, he just wants to help himself win. That's it. Now... I think he's trying to lose with this. I really do. That's what I really think is happening. This is stupid beyond, you know, beyond uh, um, reprehensible by the president. And here's what I would recommend to all of you. Vote. 
vote Green Party. I don't care. It takes votes away from this guy.